It's Reveille. Information is powerful. And so I started Breakthrough Ideas to get relevant information to voters on all matters of policy, trying to connect the dots on policy and politics, focusing mostly on state and local issues. Like it or not, from the time I began in public office 13 years ago, social media and email has become more influential than legacy media for informing people. That's why the admittance last week by Mark Zuckerberg that he willingly censored information during the 2020 election is so concerning. Zuckerberg said the government asked him to censor certain information and he complied. He also said that he shouldn't have in some cases. But the meta minders are still in place and they are still censoring posts. Across the Atlantic, governments want censorship too. The UK is arresting people for sharing social media posts about recent riots. Elon Musk faces massive fines from the European Union for non-compliance with their Digital Services Act because Musk refuses to police X for disinformation. In France, the founder of Telegram was arrested on charges that he is harboring criminal activity on his app and for not sharing his users' encrypted messages with authorities. Mike Benz, former state official and founder of Foundation for Freedom Online, spent two hours with Tucker Carlson explaining exactly how involved U.S. intelligence agencies and taxpayer-supported organizations are in censorship and disinformation campaigns around the globe. It's frightening, and it's an interview all must hear and an issue all must be aware of. Free speech is the foundation to a free society. Americans cannot ignore our own government's involvement in shutting down such. I'm Jeannie Ives. To be in the fight, you need to be informed. Listen to my radio show from 7 to 9 p.m. on Sunday and sign up for my newsletter at Breakthrough-Ideas.com.